Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It is Manchester United up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And it's United's turn now. Kaká, De Paul. Oh, surely! And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So, underway again here. 1 0 the score. Ibobisi. An effective ball. Good challenge and a throw in coming up. Neymar. Just knocked it out of there. And with that, the attack fizzles out. What can he do with it now? Might be a chance here. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay onside there. He didn't read the situation at all. Rodrigo de Paul. Kaká. Opportunity here, and it's in for Manchester United. They are on a victory course. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Lodeiro, Virgil van Dijk, Lionel Messi, and flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Hernandez. Well, the managers will now deliver their half time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So the second half underway, and it's going to take a colossal effort from Arsenal if they are to turn this around. Good technique displayed. Smuggled away. Schuker. De Paul. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And Neymar. Now with Messi. Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, I think he'll be kicking himself. Ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Thirty minutes left for play. Effective looking pass. Neymar moving with authority. And United will get the throw in. The right card. De Bruyne. Kaká. And Schuker. Rodrigo de Paul. 
Right card. Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't on target. Kaká. Rodrigo de Paul. Frank Rijkaard now. De Paul. Trippier now. Trippier has lost possession. Martinez. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Here's a change for Manchester United. Lodeiro. Neymar. So the final whistle now. And disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them. Your assessment. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It is Liverpool versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Lucio. And he's broken free. Ibo Bissi. Lodeiro. Messi. Zico Barella has it sound piece of goalkeeping Lodeiro here's Fabian Messi and he's through here just the clearance that was needed Tidily played. Oh, yes! What a goal! Well, perhaps we shouldn't be surprised. After all, he's in the team of the year. Well, I have to say, this is a player that has everything you need to be an outstanding performer and fully deserves to be in the team of the year. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Fabian. Lionel Messi. Fabian. Good looking sequence this. Lodeiro. Decent position. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. The first half draws to a close. With the concept to please note, Mr. Moon has left the building. So into the second half, and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them. Martinez. Opportunity here. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly and he times it perfectly. Goal for 
So 2 0 now. Virgil van Dijk. And Lodeiro. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well cleared away by Lucio. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. And it will be goalkeeper's ball. And he clears the danger. Virgil van Dijk. Fabian. Patrick Vieira. Liverpool corner given. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Ibo Bissi. 15 minutes left for play. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Ball played nicely. Teo Hernandez. Fabian. Well, nearing the end of this one, and Arsenal a long way from their best. Well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game, certainly when they haven't had the ball. They're cl real chance! So the referee's whistle means full time, and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out.
Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Arsenal and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. One nil then. Lionel Messi. Maldini. Modric. De Bruyne. Watered by the post. And that's a straightforward stop. Maldini doing his job defensively. And De Bruyne in a use. It has to be! And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Neymar. Neymar's there. Others might join in. And can they prize them open now? And a passing sequence that's easy on the eye. Fabian. Now with Neymar. Well, very nearly at the halfway mark, and you can't really get away from this conclusion. Arsenal need to up their game. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've been outplayed in this first half. And he's in behind. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. And offenders will be removed from the stadium... And the ball rolling again after what was a dazzling first 45 from Real. Can they repeat that in the second half? Excellent defending. Lewandowski. Lodeiro. But he keeps going. Arsenal's free kick here. Lewandowski, Kuehl, likes to run with the ball at his feet. Lodeiro, Ibobisi, just wanted to get it out of there, and it will be an Arsenal free kick. Substitution for Real Madrid. Well, he would love to have that header back. Gianluca Zambrotta. Ten minutes to go, then. Oh, he's through here! Will he? And a goal to settle the issue once and for all.
Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Fabian. Lodeiro. On to Messi. Fabian. Now with Messi. Real chance. Big chance it is. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did. And that's the result. The final whistle and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary, and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Arsenal, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set. Two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Bellingham. And Bellingham. Hold on! In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Neymar. And Neymar with teammates to help him. Salah. And he's broken free. And it's got to be. And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. 2-0 now and back underway. Ibo Bissi. On to Messi. Teo Hernandez now. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Fabian. He's got to score! Oh, that was begging to be put home. But the goalkeeper has it. Ibo Bissi. No degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Rodri. Kulic has it. This is looking threatening, but they dealt with the threat first. Neymar. Could pull one back here. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Roberto Carlos. The first half here comes to an end.
Well, the ball moving again, and Real very much in charge of this one. Alert defending. Neymar. Real did well to regain control of the ball. Mbappe. Real find themselves in a position of menace. The clearance wasn't decisive. Thirty minutes to go then. Possession one. And Real Madrid have it back now. Fabian. Paolo Baldini. Messi. Chance to make a game of it here. Roberto Carlos. Ruud Hurit. Mbappe. What can Real do from this position? And a good take under duress there. Paolo Maldini. Bellingham. The ball with Rodri. Salah. And back with Rodri. Kylian Mbappe. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Ibo Bissi. Jude Bellingham. And just five minutes remaining. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Gullit. Holland. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The final whistle, and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, the fans are right to expect more. The tempo of their passing was too slow. They were second to the ball too many times and were beaten by the better side today. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Ginola, Zidane on the ball, George Best, Zinedine Zidane, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Can, must take the lead here, Lodeiro, Neymar, Zinedine Zidane Kevin De Bruyne and with that the attack fizzles out it has to be well he strayed offside just as it looked promising Determined defending. 
Well, giving the ball away. And fine work from Arsenal to win it back. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Ronaldo. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, this is well worth watching again, because from that distance, this is an incredible strike. But you do have to question the goalkeeper, because he shouldn't be beaten from there. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? De Bruyne, Ronaldo. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Ibo Bissi. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick given. Ronaldo. Well cleared away by Lucio. It did look on for them, but not to be. Ronaldo and Best has it can they create something from here Kulic spot on with that tackle so a half an hour remaining Fabian Lodeira he succeeds in clearing it Ibo Bissi, chance maybe, and in, at the second time of asking, just what was required. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert, he gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. 20 minutes to go. Oh, great attacking play. Could go ahead. Well, I was on the cusp of saying he's at it again. Looked as though he might score again. Well, he's certainly looking sharp today. That could easily have been his second there. And teammates around him. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. So a personnel change then. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And in a perfect position to cut it out. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore. Oh, big chance! Well, I think fair to say, Stuart, not one for his personal scrapbook. Well, that's really wayward. His technique completely let him down there. David Ginola. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. George Best. Intercepted effortlessly. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated, and goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one.
And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Arsenal against Flamengo. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Ronaldo lost it. Salah. And the ball is with Girassi. Really well positioned. Messi. Ronaldo. Neymar. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Fabian. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Teo Hernandez. Lodeiro. Ronaldo. Losing possession here. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Teo Hernandez. And Lodeiro. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. Alfonso Davies. Rafael Varan. Robbed of the ball, Mo Salah. Messi. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. And we will have just one additional minute. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Can they jump in front? Good piece of defending. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Well, a foul after the previous one. And a free kick ensues. And play halted. Free kick given. Salah. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Cristiano Ronaldo. Mo Salah. Virgil van Dijk. Messi. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Cristiano Ronaldo. Ten minutes to go. So much focus within the team and completely focused on winning the game now. Well, Arsenal will probably get one more big chance to win this game. And don't these fans know it? Just listen to the noise. Still nil-nil here, not for the lack of trying. Well, there's certainly plenty of effort and plenty of endeavour. It's just whether they can take advantage of one of these chances now. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Must take the lead here. 
quite simply an opportunity wasted easy for the keeper and with that the referee brings this match to an end both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes but it finishes in a stalemate Stuart what did you make of it all well yes Derek probably not the best game I don't think either team played to their full potential the final ball was off a of Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Arsenal, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent. Can they convert? Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Corner kick given to Arsenal. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Lucas Hernandez. Arsenal have given it away. Lucio, Fabian, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, oh in with a chance, in it goes, well the pressure has been mounting and now they have the lead. Well here's another look and you can see what a good finish this is, he holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure, that's a great goal. Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Vinicius Junior. Fabian. Lodeiro. Messi. Lodeiro. Opportunity! And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Nicely timed tackle. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. It's still alive. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Neymar thrives on running at defenders. Couldn't quite hang on. Surely. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. That is that for the first half here. So the ball rolling again. And Real left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Rafael Leao, Vinicius Junior, 
And Real couldn't hang on to the ball. Neymar. Oh, he's through here. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. Wasted possession again. Ronaldo. Could be. Chance maybe. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Teo Hernandez. Fabian. Ronaldo. Neymar. An Arsenal corner. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Fabian Lodeiro. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Substitution time it is here. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Lodeira, Fabian, Neymar. In position. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Fabian. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Arsenal up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. Danilo Pereira. Lota Mateus. Brahim. Now with Havertz. Jadon Sancho. Mateus. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Guerrero. And putting paid to the danger. Lucio. Well, there's a living, breathing example of positional sense. Jaden Sancho. Might really be able to trouble them here. And a goal to give them the lead. Well, I have to say, that's a good finish. He knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He's just passed it into the corner. That's a nice goal. Are back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Danilo Pereira, Lucio... Sancho now, Kai Havertz, Jaden Sancho, moving the ball really well here, oh he could have added to their advantage, well it was a decent effort but they're still looking for the buffer here, Danilo Pereira, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Second half underway, and Arsenal looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Lota Mateus. And simple for the keeper to just come and collect. Virgil van Dijk here's Hernandez well cleared away by Lucio and into the last 30 minutes now this could level it and look at that a goal here for Arsenal who now have got themselves on terms Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Sancho. Sancho now, keeping the ball moving. Big chance! Terrific save! Just wanted to get it out of there. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Danilo Pereira. Rodrigo de Paul. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Can he put them in front? And no-nonsense defensive clearance. 
Well, Arsenal have to get the ball forward quickly now. The crowd are demanding just that little bit more effort. What a finish we've got on our hands here. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant, but overall, I think a draw is just about the right result. Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's into Miami versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And he's broken free. Opportunity still there. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Ladeira. Granit Xhaka. And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. Fabian really good challenge Davos Schuker opportunity here a smart stop here they'll repeat the trick corner again Corner again. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Virgil van Dijk. Danger averted. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Lionel Messi. Clear to see who got the last touch, so a throw in it'll be. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. 2-0 now and back underway. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Coming up at half time, don't forget we'll be having the lucky raffle. And also don't forget the lucky program draw. Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb.
And a good tackle. Rodri. Shuka. Is it going to be? And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Lodeiro. Ruud Hulit. Maldini. Hulit. Now with Donovan. And into the last 30 minutes now. Granit Xhaka. Brandt with it. Must score! And still danger here. Roberto Carlos. Xhaka with it. Rodri. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Opportunity here. And it's gone behind for the corner. Still could be dangerous. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Granit Xhaka. Well, nearing the end of the game, and Arsenal, a big disappointment, really, you've got to say. Well, this could be. Arsenal's free kick here. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Arsenal up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Benzema now with Alonso and teammates around him in position there it is and just the ideal start well here's the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it but the finish is far too easy he doesn't even have to jump how has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. Teo Hernandez. And Lodeiro. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position.
into the advanced position. Fabian. This could square the game. And look at that. A goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Phil Foden. Going well. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Might go ahead. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Benzema. And on to Alonso. Florian Viet. Zardes. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, the decision they have made is to make a triple substitution. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Xavi Alonso. An encouraging Arsenal move. Can they forge ahead? And cleared away. Cristiano Ronaldo. On to Messi. Neymar. And a simple clearance, a good one. Zardes. Benzema. Riosson. Benzema. On to Alonso. Neymar. Lodeiro. Here's Ronaldo. Ten minutes to go. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? Fabian. He's going forward well here. But timely defending when it mattered. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Arsenal facing Bayer Leverkusen. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. 
Lucio. Fabian. And Lodeiro. Ronaldo. And Ronaldo with others in the vicinity. Rob carrying out his defensive duties. Papa, he's in behind. Oh, he stopped it. Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Punched away. Another corner. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Neymar. Here's Fabian. Well, an attack that lacked that final punch. Fabian clears it away. Arsenal have given it away. David Beckham. Grealish. It's with Erdegaard. And on to Beckham. Arsenal doing well to regain possession. Teo Hernandez. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 the minutes in this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And out of play. The pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Messi. Virgil van Dijk well conceding the throw in good challenge Lionel Messi that'll be a Leverkusen ball David Beckham Duncan and the pass not quite accurate enough and a throw in then Messi Lodeiro and into the last 30 minutes now Neymar Fabian and with that the attack fizzles out Now Beckham. And clears the danger. Neymar. On to Messi. Koeman. Martin Odegaard. Now with Papa. Cole. Can he do it? Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And did it he just? Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Just ten minutes to go. Lodeiro. Neymar playing with purpose and control. Hernandez on to Ronaldo. And Neymar. And he did what he had to do defensively. 
So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them. Your assessment? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Sevilla, and they take on Arsenal. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Rakitic has lost it here. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Can he take advantage? And a good take under duress there. Lucas Ocampos. And Nesiri. Torres. And they stopped them in their tracks. Declan Rice. Gabriel Jesus. And nothing comes of it. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Crack it! Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Martinelli. Declan Rice. Thomas Partey. Gabriel Jesus. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. And Nesiri. Arsenal's free kick here. Partey. Declan Rice. Thomas Partey. Martin Odegaard. Rakitic. Gibril So. And the right place to cut out the pass. And it must take the lead here. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Torres well that's how to put in a clean tackle and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time Gibril So Ivan Rakitic and with that the first half draws to a close so they get the ball rolling in the second half even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Gabriel Martinelli. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Martin Odegaard. Could be! Jesus Navas. Torres. Martin Odegaard. 
using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And snuffed out the danger immediately. Yusuf and Nesiri. Really getting stuck in. So, into the final 20 minutes. Gabriel. Gabriel Jesus. He's, oh, in with a chance! It's got to be! Oh, in it goes at long last! Deadlock broken! Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the perfect finish from Jesus. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. This could square the game. And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Jesus, Saka. Excellent defending. The there will be one minute added on at the end. Full time and just the start Arsenal fans were hoping for. They have three points on the board already in the UEFA Champions League. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out and they'll be in a great position. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Champions League this group stage contest. It's Arsenal and they face Racing Club de Lens. Well Arsenal looked a good outfit in their first match. They worked hard, they looked well organised and they played some nice football. They'll certainly be hard to beat here. Bukayo Saka. Fulgini, Sotoka. Machado. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Gabriel. Nicely cut out. Jesus. Of attacking possibilities. Can he put them in front? Sotoka. Martin Erdegaard. Rice. Is this the moment? In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? A 
And over the byline it goes. So goal kick coming up here. Grady. Kevin Danzo. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Gabriel. Parse. Jesus. It's with Erdogan. Oh, he could have added to their advantage. Well, it was a decent effort, but they're still looking for the buffer here. Grady. And that's an important intervention. Will it be? Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Bukayo Saka. Well, the electronic board show... Is it going to be? Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Grady. Salis Abdul Samed. That is that for the first half here. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. And offenders will be removed from the stadium... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Martin Odegaard. Now look at this. They might be able to cash in here. Intercepting it intelligently. Samed. Sotoka. Arsenal regaining possession. Saka. Opportunity here, and there's a quality defender in action. Salis Abdul Samed. And ball back with Arsenal now. Saka. Real chance. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And he did what he had to do defensively. Fulgini. Sotoka. Well, that's a tall order as they try to pull one back, but their passing game might help. Appear to be in two minds. Ten minutes left for play. And he was in the right place to intercept. Samed. Oh, managing to beat him. Martin Odegaard. Parse. Now with Jesus. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Well, another excellent result, and it's the perfect start. Of course, they're not through yet, but another good performance, and they'll surely make the knockout stages.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live coverage from the UEFA Champions League, this group stage contest. It's Arsenal against PSV. Well, thanks, Derek. These nights are always special, and this shouldn't be any different. Everything is set up for a great game here. I'm really looking forward to this one. Martinelli. Jesus. Saka. And he has options available. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. Parte. Gabriel Martinelli. Can they forge ahead? And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And easily intercepted. Jesus. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And play halted, free kick given. Gabriel Jesus. Bukayo Saka. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. For the lead here. Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Andre Ramalho. PSV have given the ball away. Jesus Is it going to be high quality defending Test Saka. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Chances on. Still possibilities. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here into the second half. Gabriel Martinelli might be able to get in behind the defence Rice that's a good can he put them in front and just flicked off the defender so a corner coming up clears it away oh big chance And it's got to be. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Arsenal have given it away. Luke de Jong. Arsenal did well to win back possession. Lang. jump in front pretty straightforward for the keeper Luke de Jong and with that the attack fizzles out Declan Rice and forward go Arsenal real chance wins it for them there's every chance and the fans are lapping this up well I won't get tired of watching this it's an outstanding bit of play just look how far he runs with the ball that's a great goal Go, 
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Martinelli. Jesus. Five minutes to go. Luke de Jong. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bukayo Saka. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Yes, Derek. Sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition. And that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Racing Club de Lens up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. It's a real pleasure to be here. What a great atmosphere we've got inside the stadium. I'm really looking forward to this one. It should be a good contest, that's for sure. Martin Odegaard. And he's through here. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Opportunity to take the lead. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Cleared away. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Samed. Arsenal recovering possession well. Martin Odegaard. Possession given away, unfortunately. Gabriel. Jesus. Well, he's certainly not alone. Can he do it? Must take the lead here. A goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Martinelli. Jesus. Martin Odegaard. Saka. High quality defending. Fulgini. And couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's given us away. Arsenal's free kick here. Gabriel Jesus. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Medina. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Gabriel Jesus. Salis Abdul Samed. The first half here comes to an end. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. And offenders will be removed from the stadium and it will make place for the support. Arsenal with the lead going into the second half, but no room for complacency.
Martinelli. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. Thomas Partey. Martin Odegaard. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And into the last 30 minutes now. Sotoka. Machado. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Jesus. It's with Odegaard. Medina. Grady. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Salis Abdul Samed. And now Thomason. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Samed. Very quick thinking there. Oh, big chance. Still a chance. Keeper did his job to begin with. Managed to get it out of there. Time for a change then. Saka. Opportunity here. And a goal. They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Sotoka. Plenty of support here. And in with a real chance. And putting pay to the danger. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Champions League, this group stage contest. It's PSV, and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. These nights are always special, and this shouldn't be any different. Everything is set up for a great game here. I'm really looking forward to this one. Noah Lang, Joey Fairman, Luke de Jong, Fairman, and de Jong on the ball. De Jong is going forward. Can he take advantage? Still a chance. White Bukayo Saka Saka it's with Erdogan surely and the keeper did magnificently well that's just a wonderful save how did he stop that any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day Gabriel 
isn't going to end up being productive for them. Could go ahead. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Joey Fairman. It's there for him. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Gabriel Martinelli. Declan Rice. Can he do it? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Good looking sequence. Just the clearance that was needed. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form, and offenders will be removed from the stadium and may face prosecution. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Gabriel Martinelli. Can they convert? Oh no, it's gone horribly wrong in terms of the finish. Andre Ramaglio. Fairman. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Lang Luke de Jong Declan Rice Jesus Rice with it on to Jesus well read to win possession back Gustil and they will be awarded a free kick for that William Saliba it's with Erdogan Gabriel Jesus oh big chance opportunity still there and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick absolutely unplayable today what a performance well you have to admire this bit of play just look how he runs with the ball he always looked in control didn't he that's a brilliant goal A lopsided contest, 4-0. Arsenal's free kick here. Martinelli. And here's Partey. Will he finish? Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Declan Rice. Can he finish? 
Off the post and back in play. Andre Ramalho. And just five minutes remaining. Luke de Jong. Lang. And teammates around him. Just wanted to get it out of there. And a play and a PSV throw in forthcoming. Noah Lang. And the referee's whistle. That is the end of the story. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is this final group stage game in the Champions League. It's Arsenal taking on Sevilla. Well, I think this should be a good game tonight, Derek. We've got some excellent players on show here. Let's just hope they perform to their best. Declan Rice Partey making progress he's got to score goalkeeper getting in the way superb save and the danger cleared Now just the tackle that was needed. Saka. Well, he took care of it defensively. Bukayo Saka. Can he put it in? Well, and the final analysis, a bit harmless. Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. And the city. Suso has it. Determined defending. It's Arsenal's turn now. Gabriel Martinelli. Thomas Partey. I must say, this looks promising. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. And stopping the danger. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. Is it going to be? Well, it's a long way off target, you've got to say. Marcos Acuna. Lucas Ocampos. Nabodo Campos. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Torres. And moving the ball nicely. It's there for him. Oh, good defending. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. This to make it 1 0. Rakitic. And not cleared away properly. And the attack fizzling out. 
Gabriel Jesus. The first half here comes to an end. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Torres. Rakitic has it now as they continue to go forward with purpose. Well, mopping up defensively. Able to, a real opening now. Well, unable to bend his run offside. So half an hour remaining. Gabriel Farse Bukayo Saka now who can he play it to so Gabriel Martinelli Declan Rice well it wasn't a taxing save Declan Rice and here's Saliba Jesus very quick thinking there now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one and with the teams locked together he's in with a chance and just failing to bend the run enough and the flag has been raised Well, Arsenal have to get the ball forward quickly now. The crowd are demanding just that little bit more effort. What a finish we've got on our hands here. He's in here. Torres. And Nesiri. And the referee blows for full time. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're looking forward to bringing you live Champions League action, the first leg of this round of 16 tie. It's Arsenal versus RB Leipzig. Well, what a first leg we have in store for us here. Yes, it might be cagey, but these are two excellent teams with great individuals. This will be a high-quality game, Derek. Can he make it count? Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Well, making it simple for the keeper in the end. Simakon. Could be. Ball is loose. Superb chance. Well, that's a really top-notch piece of defending. If the in the stadium, can you please make it? Must take the lead here. And a very good challenge. Schlager. Thomas Partey. 
Jesus. And possession lost, intercepted. Danny Olmo. The ball back with Arsenal now. And he might be through here. Well, placement over power, but it didn't work out for him. Raum. Danny Olmo with it. On the ball, Schlager. Ikoma Luis Openda. Schlager. Werner with it now. And an astute piece of defending. Benjamin Henrichs. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Chance here. Oh, yes. It's gone in. And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. The first half here comes to an end. With the club section, please note Mr. Moon has left the building. And underway again with Leipzig hoping to find a route back into the game. Declan Rice. It's with Erdogan. Well, it could be on for him here. Ikoma Luis Openda. Schlager. And just blotting out the danger. Now we have 30 minutes to go. And he's in. In position. Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. Orban. Schlager. Danny Olmo. Declan Rice. Gabriel Martinelli. And a chance. Odegaard. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Just 15 minutes remaining. Could pull one back here. Arsenal's free kick here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. William Saliba. Rice with it. Martin Odegaard. And a tidy challenge. And they need to get tighter. Schlager. And Kessia. There's the final whistle. And Arsenal with the advantage going into the second leg of this tie. Well, they're not through just yet, but that was a convincing performance today. They were inventive, they controlled the midfield, and they've looked sharp in attack. They're unlucky not to win this by more.
Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And it's the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It's RB Leipzig and they take on Arsenal. Well Derek, Arsenal have a nice lead but they'll still need to play well today. If they start quickly and get an early goal, they should go through quite comfortably. Openda, Werner, Danny Olmo with it, Declan Rice, Gabriel Jesus, Martin Odegaard, Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control, oh genuine chance, and a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? What can he do with it now? Werner. Timo Werner. Oh, that's a fine save. struggle to get it away properly chance to finish oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it well when you see this again the defending just isn't good enough the clearance doesn't get enough height on it doesn't get enough distance on it and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area and they don't reorganize themselves and that's why the ball's in the back of their net So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Thomas Partey. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. And that'll roll through to the keeper. The attack just fizzling out in the end. Partey. And Arsenal now find themselves in potential. Will he find the net? Denied by the bar, back in play here. Oh, magnificent save. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. William Saliba. Martinelli. Can he do it? Attempting to place the ball in the back of the net, but not going according to plan. David Raum. Danny Olmo. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? Managed to get it out of there. Martin Odegaard, Partey, Declan Rice, Thomas Partey. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Coming up at half time, there will be a display from the police dog display team, so stay in your seats for that. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. An encouraging Arsenal move. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it!
Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Benjamin Henrichs. Really good interception. And the defenders know they need... He's in behind! And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Orban. On the ball, Schlager. And the pass deftly cut out. Ikoma Luis Openda. Free kick here. Martin Erdegaard. White. Thomas Partey. Leipzig with the ball again. And into the last 20 minutes. Werner. It's got to be! And fired against the crossbar! And I think the threat has been averted. Farsi. Now with Jesus. Martin Erdegaard. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Declan Rice. Rice with it. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will. He must finish! And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. And no more time left. The referee has ended this particular match. Arsenal are the side to move on. Well, it was never really in doubt, was it? Over the two legs, they were by far the better team. They'll take some stopping, that's for sure.
Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've reached the quarter-final stage of Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, first leg action for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Arsenal. Well, I've been looking forward to this one ever since they were drawn together. They're two excellent teams with a host of top-quality players. This should be a really interesting first leg. Mbappé. Ferreira. Mbappé with it. Dembele on the ball. Keeping the ball moving. Mbappé. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Martin Odegaard. Ugarte. Vitor Ferreira. Mbappe. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal have given it away. White. Martin Odegaard. They've wasted possession again, Arsenal. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. take the lead here well for power 10 out of 10 for placement maybe 8 Mukiele here's Marquinhos Ferreira Ugarte Mbappe Tempele real chance Thomas Partey, Gabriel Jesus, Rice with it, looking for that final pass, look, chances on, well the pass got in the way, just straying offside, And so it is, the first half story has been written. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form, and offenders will be removed from the stadium and made face for execution. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Martinelli. Will he finish? And there! 1-0, their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Kylian Mbappe. Here is Marco Asensio. Mbappe. Interception to snuff out the danger. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Martinelli. Rice with it. Martinelli. Is it going to be? Surely. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. And putting paid to the danger. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. 
Oh, he could have added to their advantage. Well, it was a decent effort, but they're still looking for the buffer here. Skriniar. Vitor Ferreira. Mbappe with it. 15 minutes left for play. Martin Odegaard. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Well, I'm not sure that PSG have been at their best, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving their team on here. Gabriel Martinelli. Martin Odegaard. Strong but fair tackle. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And there it goes, the final whistle. Arsenal with the lead going into the return leg of this tie. Yeah, they just about edged it for me. But if the first 90 minutes is anything to go by, this tie is far from over. Really looking forward to round two now, Derek.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UEFA Champions League. It's Arsenal against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, it's only a one-goal advantage, but Arsenal were the better team in that first leg. They just need to perform with the same intensity today. Martinelli. Declan Rice. Can he find the right pass? Is this the moment? After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. It's it! Well, that's a free kick he'll want to forget all about. Well, just look at the reaction of his teammates. That's a real waste. Ben White. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Declan Rice. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Could be! Cleared away. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And a chance. Erdogan! Well, that's a foul. And it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. An Arsenal corner. And a simple clearance, a good one. Now, who can he play it to? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Mbappe Thomas Partey Martin Odegaard and does well to keep it in play Martinelli not showing good patience and it's Gabriel Jesus And he takes it on. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. PSG looking dangerous. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. Gabriel, Martin Odegaard, Declan Rice. Martinelli running with the ball confidently is it going to be 
the crossbar got in the way struggling to get it away and with Donnarumma Thomas Partey Martin Odegaard Martinelli oh genuine chance well no examination at all for the goalkeeper and on that basis he's going to be a bit cross with himself Marquinhos Ugarte and into the last 20 minutes now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position oh he's given us away inexplicably Mbappe Kylian Mbappe a good and fair challenge Gabriel Jesus it's with Erdogan Alexander Zinchenko Thomas Partey Jesus good pass opportunity it is and nothing comes of it so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said Kylian Mbappe and the referee says that will do it it's the end of this second leg and Arsenal have prevailed in the tie well over the two games they played some really good football their passing had purpose they had players who could run with the ball and most importantly their work rate was excellent And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator. And alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Inter. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. Martinelli. Declan Rice. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Well, fine play and maybe it'll set something up. To take the lead! It's a terrific challenge. Martinez. Davide Fratesi. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Can he put them in front? Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Opportunity! And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Well, underway once again. Will Inter be able to articulate an appropriate response? Ben White. Bukayo Saka. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Will he finish? Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a player he is. It's 
So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Martinez. On to Turam. Martinez. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Turam. Back with Martinez. Pivotal moment defensively. Gabriel Jesus. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So into the second half, and there can be no denying it. Inter really need to raise the game. Martinelli. Oh, in with a chance! Oh dear, a moment to forget all about, I think. Well, he has to do a lot better there. He's gone for power, but he's completely miscued it. A textbook interception. Gabriel Jesus, and he's through here. Well, that is a moment he would love to have back because it really was there for him. Alessandro Bastoni. Well, Inter unable to retain possession. William Saliba. Thomas Partey. Bukayo Saka. And Inter doing well to win the ball back. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Dumfries. And ball back with Arsenal now. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! And the keeper taking charge of the situation. Martin Erdegaard. Rice with it. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Turam. And it's with Dumfries. Charanolu. On to Turam. Good piece of defending. And so the final whistle, this first leg is over. And it's a story of Arsenal with the advantage going into the return match. Well, that was a top quality performance. They were sharp in attack, they passed it with purpose, and they closed the ball down really quickly. This display gives them one foot firmly in the final. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Inter up against Arsenal. Well Derek, Arsenal have a nice lead but they'll still need to play well today. If they start quickly and get an early goal they should go through quite comfortably. Marcus Tuham. Barella. The ball with Martinez. Declan Rice. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Just knocked it out of there. Declan Rice. Partey. It's with Erdogan. White. 
And a chance, Odegaard, and a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? To Ham. Martinelli. Rice with it. Martinelli. Oh, big opportunity. Partey. And it's opening up. Oh, good hit. Close shave. Francesco Acerbi. It's with Acerbi. Fratesi. Barella. Martinez. Turam. Dumfries. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Jesus. William Saliba. Martin Odegaard. Partey. It's with Odegaard. White. On to Jesus. Composed and patient passing. Oh, surely. Oh, yes. A goal. Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Di Marco. And there it is, the half time whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Di Marco Arsenal did well to win back possession and as Gabriel can he take the chance cleared away comprehensively Martinelli can he do it and there is the goal he's found the net joy unconfined Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Three goals without reply. Well, we're into the final half hour. Alexander Zinchenko. Jesus. Marcinelli. Fratesi. Barella has it. Chalanolu. The ball with Martinez. Marcus Tuham. Di Marco. Nicely cut out. Declan Rice. Rice with it. Into recovering possession well. It's Arsenal's turn now. Ten minutes to go then. 
And can he finish? And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So a personnel change then. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Barella. Going well. Martin Erdegaard. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And there it is. The referee blows his whistle. Arsenal are going to the final. Well, those celebrations will be going on for a long time now because they know just how good they've been over the two legs. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final if they play like that. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Arsenal taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Kamavinga. Bellingham. Vinicius Junior. And Bellingham. Rodrigo, now with Bellingham, Gabriel, Martin Odegaard, Jesus, well using the space really well, but now can they push on, Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo, well, he's certainly not alone. Excellent defending. Martin Odegaard. It's with Odegaard. Must take the lead here. Well, I have... Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Rodrigo. And an astute piece of defending. Well, the half-time interval fast approaching. It's Arsenal with the lead. And a good point, I think, Stuart, to get your critique of their performance so far. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Declan Rice. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Jesus. That is that for the first half here. So back in business, the ball moving again, and Real with a bit of work ahead of them. And Bellingham. This could be the equaliser. Oh, a goal! 
goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Valverde. Rodrigo. Martin Erdegaard. It's with Erdegaard. Declan Rice. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Can he put them in front? Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't on target. Well, nothing comes of it. Vinicius Junior. Jesus. Martin Erdegaard. What can they do from here? Not out of the woods yet. In it goes at the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, 2-1 it is here. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Thomas Partey. It's with Erdegaard. Now can they make something happen? White. Partey. Plenty of support here. Oh, great defending. Eduardo Camavinga. Real Madrid attacking. He's in with a chance. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. A magical moment for Arsenal fans everywhere. Your old club have just been crowned champions of Europe. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them.